The following is a demonstration of the assembly of an oxygen tank and administration of oxygen to a patient who is conscious. We're going to start off with BSI and scene safety, body systems isolation. We're going to have on a pair of gloves. We're going to identify the oxygen tank. Silver tank with a green top, green symbolizing oxygen. We're looking at the label on the oxygen tank to identify the tank as oxygen and medical grade oxygen. We have the word oxygen. USP stands for United States Pharmacopoeia. We have the yellow oxygen symbol indicating that the oxygen supports combustion. We're also going to identify on the label the text RX only indicating that it's a prescription. And we're also going to check the hydrostatic test date on the tank. Looking at the top of the tank, we look for the date. This one was tested 5 of 2014. It says 514. It's good for five years. So it'll be good until May of 2019. On a recent refilled tank, we take a look at the yoke of the tank and we see there's a covering, covering the holes through which the oxygen is going to come out. We're going to open up and remove that covering by peeling it away. So as we look at the yoke of the tank, we take a look at the pin index safety system. We see one big hole and two smaller holes. And this specific configuration is part of the pin index safety system for an oxygen tank to make sure that an oxygen regulator will only fit onto an oxygen tank. And this is the oxygen regulator that we're going to place onto the oxygen tank. The regulator is going to reduce the pressure to make it safe to deliver the oxygen to the patient. The parts of the regulator, we have the gauge, the pressure gauge, which is going to read the pressure contents within the tank. And then also part of the regulator, we're going to have the flow meter, which we're going to adjust to the desired leader flow to deliver the oxygen to the patient through the appropriate device. The matching pins to mate the regulator with the yoke of the tank, we want to make sure that there is an O-ring to ensure a good seal between the regulator and the tank. As we assemble the oxygen tank, first thing that we're going to do is crack the tank, blow out any dust or debris. We're going to take our regulator, make sure the O-ring is in place, line up the pins and the holes, hand tighten it, Open the valve one complete revolution, and we're going to read the pressure in the tank. This particular tank has 2,000 PSI, a full tank has 2,000 PSI, and the safe residual pressure of the tank is 200 PSI. As we turned on the tank, after we've read the pressure, we're also listening for any leaking of oxygen that may be coming out of the regulator, which might indicate a bad seal. Assembling a non-rebreather to our patient who's having some difficulty breathing and breathing adequately, we open up the non-rebreather, take the end of the tubing, put it to the port on the regulator. We set the flow meter to 12 to 15 liters per minute. We're going to inflate the bag prior to placing it on the patient. Ma'am, we're going to give you some oxygen. I want you to breathe as regularly as possible. We're going to place it over the person. Adjust it to the patient's face. Pinch it. And we want you to breathe as regularly as possible. And we want to always ensure that the bag remains at least one-third full. Oh, I didn't take this off. Why don't you keep it on for a couple of more minutes to see how you're doing with that? Okay, if my patient is not tolerating the non-rebreather, what we're going to do is we're going to switch her to a different delivery device. We're going to take it off of her with the oxygen running. I'm going to set her up on a nasal cannula, and I'm going to max it out at 6 liters per minute. Set the flow meter to 6. Place it into her nose, around her ears, cinch it up under her chin, and how does that feel for you, ma'am? Oh, much better. Okay, so just breathe as regularly as possible, please. Many times when you arrive at the hospital, the nurse may tell you to take off the oxygen from the patient. So we're going to remove the cannula from the patient. 
while the oxygen is flowing through it. We're going to shut off the flow meter. We're going to close the main valve of the tank. And then we're going to bleed the system by opening the flow meter with the valve closed until the gauge goes down to zero. And now we could safely store the tank. And in the event we are nearing the safe residual pressure, at this point we can remove the regulator and change out our oxygen tank. Please keep in mind that whenever we're using the oxygen tank, we have to observe safety as much as possible. So whenever the tank is standing, you need to be holding on to the tank. And if it's not needed to be standing, then just lay the tank down when you're administering oxygen to the patient, again, to avoid any safety risks.